Hello everyone! So I asked my patrons what book to discuss here on the main channel, and this was the one! So if you'd like to hear the discussion on Ask the Truth for Beginners, it'll be available to my patrons. Without further ado, let's discuss The Wanderers Havamal. If you're unfamiliar with this book, the Havamal is said to be the words of the High One, aka Odin. So many modern Norse practitioners and Asatru and heathens will refer to this writing in their practice. It's kind of one of their main sources of information, along with the prose Edda and the poetic Edda. Jackson Crawford, the one who wrote this version of the Havamal that I will be discussing, actually has books on those other related texts. If you do want to read them from his point of view, he does have a PhD in this, and a lot of people kind of go to him as their main source for accurate information regarding the Norse lore that we still have. There are countless translations of this old text. Personally, I trust Jackson Crawford's the most with this. While he doesn't claim to be of the Norse faith, he has studied it and focuses more on the fact than personal opinion. So the first section of this book discusses how he translates the Hafamal. This can be a bit boring of a read for those who are not linguists. The information is still fascinating, even if it is more of an academic sense. Once we actually get into the Havamal itself, the advice is still pretty relevant in our world today. It wasn't until the very end that I saw some sections that I didn't agree with. A lot of this had to do with the portrayal of women. To me, this is a reminder that this text is from a very different world than our modern one. Some of the information is expected to be dated, so I had to remind myself that it's a reflection of the time it was written down, and also by who it was written down by. Our ancestors were far from perfect, and we must remember that not everything from this text should be taken into our modern lives. I wanted to include an example of this, so this is from stanza 84, it's found on page 41. No man should trust the words of a girl, nor anything a woman says. Women's hearts are molded on a wobbly wheel. Faithlessness is planted at their core. So at the end of the book, he includes the Cowboy's Havamal. It was written with his grandfather's attitude in mind, and in a strange way, I could easily imagine an elderly man saying these words in a thick accent. In many ways, it reminded me of my own grandfather who recently passed. The cool thing about this is he actually has a version of him reading it on his own YouTube channel. If you didn't know, the author, Jackson Crawford, actually runs a YouTube channel. And he has a video where he reads his version of the Cowboy's Havamal. It's fabulous. He's by a campfire. I love it. Perfect vibes. I will have it linked below if you want to listen to it. It's great. It's only like 20 minutes or so. Definitely recommend it. Overall, if you are interested in learning about Norse paganism, I highly recommend this version of the translated Havamal. If you want additional information, I, again, I highly recommend Jackson Crawford. He has a YouTube channel with hundreds of videos discussing Old Norse. I'll have his channel linked below if you want to check it out. Again, he's got other books out there, and his videos are fabulous if you are new and are getting a lot of conflicting information. There is a lot of information that is not always correct or is presented as a historical fact when it isn't. Most common, Odin is not Santa Claus. You can say modernly that we believe, you know, that the correlations are there, but he has a whole video like discussing that, and that's one that I've noticed a lot as I've started to venture into Norse paganism, that it is such a huge misconception and huge misinformation that's presented out there. And he talks about it. He talks about a lot of different things. He likes to keep it very factual and remind you that we don't know everything and a lot of things. It's, he's like, you know, it's fine, but it's a modern practice. It's not based on history. And that is a main theme that tends to come up with Norse practices, I found, is there is a huge focus on historical accuracy, but not always actually. So if you are wanting more of that historical element to it, Highly recommend his channel. Thank you to all of my patron supporters. If you would like to be a part of the next book discussion, it is also true for beginners. It is going to be a Patreon exclusive. I did a poll and that was the one that was voted to be on Patreon only. So if you would like to hear my thoughts on that book, it will be coming out this coming weekend. Or if you're watching this in the future, it's already there. <laughs> but I will have my Patreon linked down below if you would like to support me. It is very much appreciated. I would love to do this full time. <laughs>
having to work is not the greatest when you have a lot of chronic problems. Anyways, thank you to those who are supporting me there or just watching and commenting and interacting here on my channel. Every little bit helps to appease the algorithm gods. So thank you again. And until next week, thank you again for everything, watching, subscribing, commenting, supporting on Patreon, all that good stuff. Until next Wednesday, thank you so much for watching and I will catch you all then.